What's up guys, Case back with another episode of Who Did It Better. Now, you guys seem to really enjoy the first one. I I have to start by saying, these are my opinions. And by no means the law. Um, and uh, you know, I just hope that you guys can understand and jam along and maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't, but they're, they're just meant for fun. Like this is all entirely meant for fun. Um, I have really, I really enjoyed the first episode. Uh, this one, you guys seem to, there was actually quite a bit of suggestions for this, and uh, it was really hard to pick. I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more familiar this round, um, and uh, and it seems like this would be a really fun one for everyone to listen to. So this one, this 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 one's gonna be. I feel like a little bit more eyes on me because both these bands have very, very, very intense follow uh, following, and uh, what rightful, rightfully so. I love a good diehard following of an of an artist, and it really means that they really have spoken and to their audience and really been captivated. Uh, I am not by any means um, biased to either of these bands. Uh, Again, I've I barely briefly listened to one of them, and the other one I, I I've listened a little bit more, uh, but not in the recent. So this time, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I'm really curious of what you guys have to say. So without further ado, it is time for who did it better. <laughs> I think you guys have an idea, but we're gonna be listening to. For Whom the Bell Tolls. Now, this song was originally by Metallica, which I think everyone in the world should know who that is. And uh, you guys said that Sabaton gave them a cover. And that seemed very interesting. So, like the first one, first time we did this, uh, the original will go first. So we'll listen to that original track. I think most everyone's heard this, even if it was just in a movie. I have heard this track before. So, uh, I... Um, I, I kind of, you know, I'll jam out to it because it is a jam song. So anyways, we're going to get right into it. This is For Whom the Bell Tolls, Metallica. Let's go. Oh, you just know it's going down whenever you you hear that bell. Still to this day, one of the coolest riffs. It was one of the riffs that I heard early on. I, to be fair, I wasn't the biggest Metallica fan growing up. I'm not the biggest Metallica fan now, really. And I didn't really listen to them too much growing up. I was in a in a different into a different stream of music. Um, but I knew this guitar riff. And when I started learning guitar, I was like, "That's one of the riffs. That is 100% one of the riffs." And you know, you have to respect them for what they are. They they are masters of their crafts when it comes to just you remembering what they were, those riffs that they were playing. So, great, great. Oh yeah. hearing that the first time that drum that 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 drum fill just was like oh wow he's killing it <laughs> and how has how has metal you know evolved it's just it's hilarious I, I remember hearing that as a as a youngster and being like man that is just the most crazy drum fill <laughs> Ah. Uh. 
I, I just have to say his vocals, like one, you you just know who it is. You you can be passing by a store and then they're playing this. You can be listening, you know, you can be rolling down the the road and, and having your windows rolled down, and you can hear it playing in the distance, somebody else's car. You just know. Once you hear his voice, you're like, Wow, oh, that's Metallica. <laughs> and that's that's awesome. Like that that's cool because it's his and really, to this day, I don't really feel like no one's really re- replicated him. And maybe they have. I just haven't heard it. But no one's done it at his level. Um, and that's that's a, there's a lot to be said to that. I mean, he really he's in his own. That's that's awesome. Actually, I don't think I've ever really listened throughout the entire outro of this song. That's freaking wicked sounding. <laughs> oh man. They're still going, they're still going. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is I have not listened to this song in so long that I actually forgot quite a bit of this track. I know that, you know, people are gonna be like, kidding me but i mean i just i listen to a lot of different genres a lot of different you know music and i hadn't been around this area of music in a while this was nice it was it was actually really nice and nostalgic to listen to this and then you know bring me back to my youngster years so yeah i mean obviously guys it's metallica i mean it, it should be a given um that they're going to absolutely just just destroy i mean it it, it it it's a tough one because you know everyone has a a, a um, you know metallica is like you know up here like that that's like up here so i mean i, I, I you know i said about amaranth with sabaton song you know sabaton has has some heavy heavy work cut out for them you know because you're you're taking one of the tracks that's i mean would be like i guess you could say god tier and uh and you're 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 covering it so you got to do justice i'm really 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 interested on what sabaton does here now i'm gonna throw this out here personally i actually like sabaton's vocalist a little bit better so i'm and i'm kind of curious on how he he sounds on this so i i between obviously i i know both vocalists now i i think that they have me a little bit there but i mean can 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 you beat nostalgia that's the question that's that's where it's at so we gotta see we gotta see up next is sabaton let's see what you got three two one let's go oh First of all, I like that they have made it their own. They did not just do the the bells in the beginning. I, I was truly shocked, and that's impressive. That that's what you want in these in a cover. You don't want a cookie cutter version of it. You want their own 
you want to hear their own interpretation. I feel like Amaranth did that really good with 80 Second All the Way, is making it their own. And uh, Sabaton is doing it here. This is crazy cool at the beginning. I was not expecting this. Okay. Am I hearing some strings? Oh yeah! I like that. I like that. That I was really hoping they kept that that really just gritty style guitar right there. That was sick. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Look to the sky just before you 
Okay, <laughs> I had to let them do their thing. Why do I put myself in these positions? Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I, like I said, the first one, I already, I see all eyes. What I liked about this one, honestly, is that there was no video. So, that, you know, y'all can't say that I assume that the, you know, the videos were cooler or whatever, yada, yada, yada. There was just music. It was just music this time. And I'm honestly... I'm going with Sabaton. I'm sorry. I know I already can tell people are going to start. You know, the pitchforks are outside. They're already tearing down the doors. I know, guys. Again, this is all for fun. This is all for fun. And it's my opinion. I, I think that that, that is a... Uh, that can't be stressed enough here. I, who am I to say which one's better at all? I can tell you guys that I honestly, I prefer... Sabaton's vocalist better. I also, you know, and I'm not going to take into account like the, the the age, you know, of when these were recorded because obviously Sabaton's, er, uh, you know, newer. But I really felt like Sabaton took on the cover and really did everything they needed to do to make it their own with still giving, you know, homage to the to the original track. It's one thing that. I maybe maybe would have given Amaranth a little bit more of an edge for me is I really love the homage to the original and I feel like Amaranth really made it their own with I didn't really you know to be fair I would never have known that this you know that Amaranth was really covering a song because it felt like a, it felt like their own track but I, with this one and maybe that's where I'm like where I kind of find me leaning more towards Sabaton's is I really felt like they gave homage to like the umph degree of where they it was perfectly balanced it sounded like their own but it also it also sounded like a true cover too as well they added so many dynamics to this track that just really brought out its intensity and you know it and it's there's a lot to be said for a band that can really take such a groundbreaking amazing song that will always have its place edged in history especially from like you know metal and stuff and really just bring life to it and revitalize the track. Um, and that is really where I find myself leaning on Sabaton's side here. Guys, I love these. These are so much fun to do. I had such a jam. It was such a jam time at such a great time. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me why, you know, you agree with me. And like I say every time, give me more suggestions down below. I, you know, these are, this is such a fun series and it seems like you guys enjoy it. So without, you know, further ado, I appreciate it guys. And, uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.